What's up guys? Thanks for staying around for sports. Some pretty cool news for senior high school. One of their star basketball players has committed to play at the next level. Hey Chris, standing with me right now is head coach for Rocky Women's Basketball, Wes Keller. Wes, last year you guys made it into the tournament, into the NAIA, but because you were the host team and last year you said, I don't want to be in the NAIA unless we earn no, it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. No, you're exactly right. You know, last season didn't quite go to go as planned. And, and you know, the experience from being in the tournament last year, I think, paid dividends. Um, you know, I think it jump-started us into the spring. Um, people working hard throughout the summer. And, and you know, we've, we've dealt with a lot of adversity last year. And, and, you know, I've told the ladies from, you know, last year when we sat in here before the game that I don't know when it's going to pay off, the persistence and sticking to the plan but at some point it's going to pay off and, and and we started to see that throughout the season and it sure has and then just maybe two three hours from now you're going to be hitting the hardwood with your team against the arts and sciences college out of oklahoma do you know anything about them what do you know yeah i, I know one thing we play at eight so get off your couch if you're sitting at home right now there's still a lot of a lot of time to get down here and support the lady bears but you no know, science and arts uh they get they got a very nice basketball team uh, you know they're similar to us they 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 got some good big kids and um, a couple kids that can shoot from the perimeter. So, you know, it's going to, I think some of the keys for us tonight is going to be rebounding the basketball, taking care of the basketball, and then, you know, making some open shots. All right. Well, good luck tonight, Coach. I'll definitely be watching. Let me send it back to you, Chris. Four teams going home really happy tonight. Two of them repeating as champs, while the other two are finally seeing that first place trophy. In Class AA, Helena Capital defeated Bozeman to earn the title best of the best in AA. The beginning of the match looked to be going Bozeman's way after the Hawks won the first set. The three sets that followed, however, belonged to the Bruins. Capital's middle hitter, who's also just a sophomore, Paige Barched, was huge on the net. She said she had full confidence in her teammates every time she went up for a block. We've been working so hard in our back row. Is I have full trust in them because they're just so good and they work really hard. For Class A, the Rams of Billing Central Catholic get to have the title repeat champs. In 2017, the Rams defeated Belgrave to win the State A crown. This time, they did the same, but the Panthers didn't make it easy. After Belgrave defeated Corvallis to secure a spot in the state championship game, they had to defeat Central in the first match to force a second match with Central. They did just that, but eventually the ball fell in Central's favor. Sophomore middle hitter Cindy Gray is the one who killed the last ball to lift the Rams over the Panthers. We knew we had to finish and that was just how it went and Sierra had a really good set and everything just clicked on that one play and that's how we finished. Now to Class B, and it may not have been a total surprise to some, the Huntley Project Red Devils have repeated as well. They swept Florence in three straight sets. Huntley seniors couldn't imagine ending their high school volleyball careers on a better note. Losing the past love, my freshman and sophomore year and then coming back to win last year and this year, amazing is all I can think of. The privilege of being here for four years and winning two years out of the year has been absolutely amazing. I'm just so thankful for the team I've had and just it's been an amazing ride and I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. At last, Class C, the Belt Huskies defeat the Bridger Scouts to win the state crown. The Scouts also made it difficult for the Huskies in the first match, which forced the second match. In the end, Belt was too much as the Scouts ran out of gas. The two lone seniors say last year's championship loss to Ennis was tough, but makes this one even sweeter. It was crazy. Now it's just amazing knowing that like, we came out on top. Definitely dream come true. It's what I've been thinking of all season, especially last year getting second place. Well, you just heard from the best of the best in all four classes and congratulations to all of the teams who made the tournament. They all played their hearts out here in Bozeman. Well, for now in Bozeman, I'm Lori Beering. I'm going to send it back to you in studio. Hey guys, thanks for staying with us. Today is National Signing Day, meaning thousands of athletes across the country put pen to paper to become collegiate athletes. One such player was seniors Blake Allred. The West Golden Bears hosting the senior Bronx in class AA volleyball tonight. The last time these two teams met was earlier this month. The Bronx took that match in three sets, but the West Golden Bears were able to hang on and run with the Bronx. Tonight is their rematch. They hope to stain the Bronx perfect. 
24-0 record. You can watch this game live at 7 o'clock on SWX. That's ATOD 2 or Charter 503. For now, live at West High School, Lori Beering, SWX. What's up, guys? Thanks for staying with us for sports. Tonight was a clash right here in Billings between two class AA girls basketball teams, the Bozeman Hawks visiting the West Bears. Let's get right to the highlights. First quarter, West defense starting off strong, ball kick to the corner, and it's Maddie Albright with that nice block. Into the first quarter, Ombreo Windy Boy hits the three as time expires, 14 to two West. And then it's Megan Brown with the three, 19 to seven West. And then second quarter, Alex Carey hits her own three for Bozeman, puts the Hawks within nine. End of the quarter, Carey goes coast to coast and no one stops her, she gets the lay in. Third quarter, West on the inbounds, Shayla Montag hits the corner three right here, 29-20 West. And the Bears go on to defeat the Hawks 44 to 39. Now the guys game being played in Bozeman the, tonight as well. Hawks hosting West High. Mac Anderson calls for the ball and he throws it down on the alley oop. Hawks up 10 to 8. West would go on a bit of a run thanks to the deep ball. Jesse Owens is good right here from straight away to give the Bears a 13 to 10 lead. West gets out in transition with some success as well. Ben Tallman beats the Hawks back for the easy lay in. Bears up five, but the Hawks would control most of the second. Anderson with another alley oop from Robbie Simpson. Bozeman wins 75. 51. Next month, the number one ranked high school volleyball player in the state of Montana will be one of 24 players across the country to converge on Kansas City. I sat down with a senior Bronc outside hitter. I think Reagan's the best left-handed uh, player to ever play a game in the state of Montana. It's a name we've caught a bunch this volleyball season, a name that most people in the Montana sports world may recognize. As a senior, Reagan Steiner helped lead the Bronx to the Class AA Volleyball Championship. I'm very proud of us. I think we worked very hard this year and obviously we didn't get the outcome we wanted. Props to Sentinel. They played really good, um, but I'm very proud of us for all the things that we did accomplish this year. While the Bronx didn't come away with the state title, Steiner has received one honor. She's been named to the American Volleyball Coaches Association First Team All-America Squad which no other Montanan has ever done. Coach Sue, she pulled me into her office and she told me, and I started crying. I think at first I was like, wait, what, what even is this? Like, I don't even know what this is. And then she was like, you're top 24 in the nation. Like, you get to go play in Kansas City. And I just started crying. It's such a big honor. I never thought that I would ever be considered for something like that and I just think it's so huge. To understand how big of a deal this is, let's just say over 600 nominations were submitted. There are also 150 All-America and Honorable Mention selections. He really has a, truly a passion for volleyball. And, um, you know, there are a lot of kids out there that like the sport, and it's something that, that they do. But uh, for Reagan, it almost feels like it's part of who she is, you know, that she was just kind of born to play volleyball. This 2017 season, Reagan was the kill leader in the state. She gives credit to a number of people for their support. Number one, I'd have to thank my parents. I'd give them a lot of credit because they pushed me every day to be my very best and they let me choose what I wanted to do. Um, I also give a lot of credit to Coach Carroll. Um, I met him in second grade. Um, so I was always running around the gym and we'd steal each other's noses and just mess around and give me piggyback rides. And um, just from then on, he taught me so much about the game and I also have to give credit to all of the teams that I've been on, all of the teammates that I've had, they also pushed me to be my best and be my best. After Kansas City will come graduation, then Reagan begins volleyball practice again. She will keep black and orange as her team colors, but will switch out mascots. Reagan has signed with the Idaho State Bengals. I'll just call her uh, developing in that um, I don't, I think she's really as good as she is and as, and as much as she really dominated the double A this year, I really feel like her best days are ahead of her. And that is all for SWX Volleyball tonight. The Great Falls Bison fall to the West High Bears here in the Golden Dome. Natalie, what did you see in this game that really helped the West Bears succeed? 
I thought the West Bears, they played really good defense. They were scrappy. Their blocking was on point tonight. Yeah, and the Bison actually came back in the third game. They lost the first two, were down by six or seven, and came back in the third game to win it to go to game four. What do you think that they should work on for this upcoming week? I think they just need to work on playing together as a team, communication, making sure that they're supporting each other and bettering the ball for their next player. All right, well, that's all for us from the Golden Dome. For Natalie Bills, I'm Lori Beering. We're going to send it back to you. And West tonight under the lights against Butte. But it's with West and Butte where we start. The Golden Bears, number two in the state at 4-1, and one, while the Bulldogs at a respectable 2-3. and three. West looking to separate from the pack and a four-way tie for that second spot at state.